When did you bet on yourself? When have I not bet on myself? <laughs> Hi, I'm Corey Murray, Deputy Editor of Essence, and I am so thrilled to be here with the one and only Robin Roberts, who has an amazing new show called Turning the Tables with Robin Roberts, but she's here right now on the stage with me at Essence Festival of Culture. Robin Roberts, welcome to Essence Fest. Oh, good to be here, thank you. Now, when I step down, in Louis Armstrong Airport, the first thing I want to do is like, where am I eating? When you go home, because that's your hometown, where do you go? Gumbo. That's what I want. <laughs> I, I, just, I just want gumbo. I want to see my family. Yes. Uh, my sister was considered the Oprah of New Orleans. Yes. 40 years on local television. Sally there. Ann Roberts. Hey, Sally. Hey, Sister Sally. And I love still now when I'm in New Orleans, I'm not Robin Roberts. Hey, I'm Sally's sister. I'm Sally's sister in New Orleans, not Robin. But I'm so happy the Essence Festival is back. I've been there many times there in New Orleans, and it's something that everybody looks forward to. And just give me some good old gumbo, and I'm home. Yep. That's something yeah. we were walking around. They kept saying, Essence, y'all back? Y'all back? Yeah, I know. And All we right. had to be like, just a little bit, just a little bit. But okay. 2022, full steam cool. ahead. It's got to be. Yeah. We need that. So we're here to talk about your new show called Turning the Tables with Robin Roberts. Mm -hmm. I loved it. I binged Thank all the you. episodes. Thanks, Corey. Now, in the description of your show, because I want to get it right, okay. which you host and executive produce. Thank you. Boss, boss, boss. It's your show. Yeah, girl. Wow. Groundbreakers come face to face talking about intuition, vulnerability, and authenticity. But in the show, some of that comes from you and your questioning and your opening up. I mean, when Jamie Lee Curtis just asked you a question, you were like, I'm not yeah. supposed to be the interviewee. I would like to hear you answer that question. Ooh, I can't believe I'm gonna share this. <laughs> <laughs> Part of the reason why I wanted to do a program like this, I love Good Morning America, it's mm -hmm. my day job. Love it, love it, love it, love it. But it's always like in sound bites and it's mm -hmm. always um, having to ask the person questions and usually it's about a project, yeah. rightfully so, but I want to get to know more about them. Mm -hmm. And I think they want to know more about me. So turning the tables is just that. And Jamie Lee Curtis, you're right, Corey. She did the, turn the tables on me. And, and I think I'm a pretty transparent person, but yeah. I found myself even going like, I'm, I'm, I'm I not, saw the switch. <laughs> you were like, oh my God, am I, I supposed to answer this right, question? Right. And I then you were like, in that moment, you opened up and were like, I'm going to answer the question. Because it was a safe zone. Yeah. Here, I was providing one for my guests, and they were providing one for me in return. And this is what I love about these conversations. They're real. Mm -hmm. And they are, um, they show that vulnerability is a strength, not a weakness. Yeah. And that we were, we, we felt good to be able to share and be as honest as as we were, I as much as my guests. If one woman heard you say that, that's the reason we're here. All of the guests, just a cross section. Yes. You know, a talk about, I mean, race, uh, sexuality, just so many different areas. Age. Acting, dancing, producing, Act stand up, Grammy nominated, mentoring. Are we leaving anything out? Choreography. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that, um, oh my God, Betsy John, I didn't realize she was oh, 78. Years. And she can still do a split. <laughs> And she was, she's still out there, yeah. And then we have Josie, who's so young, a yeah. transgender woman. I feel like love and support is very few and far between. Mm -hmm. But my mom handled it with so much grace. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah. I lo but it was also letting us know that at whatever season we are, we have something to contribute. Yeah. Doesn't matter how young or older we are, didn't say old, older, mm -hmm. that we have something to contribute. We have something that matters, we have a story to tell. And that's what I loved about seeing these different women. And the young, the youngins as I call them, they were like little sponges. Yeah. They were just like taking in what was what was being said. And I was like, but you all are contributing too. We're listening because Billie Jean King especially, she loves, she surrounds herself with yeah. younger people. She's always wanting to learn from the next generation. How has your years of experience communicating really inform the storyteller you are now? That's a really good question. No one's asked me that. Um, I never really thought about it until you just formed it like that. Storytelling is storytelling. And I'm so grateful that I, um, success leaves clues and I would listen to people and I would watch people and now to be able to sit across from people. Mm -hmm. And so I just love when people can, especially women, when we can help each other mm -hmm. navigate 
especially an area where we've been before. I dealt with so much racism, and I went from something I wasn't to who I really actually am. It's because of women like you that I am here. <laughs> yeah, because you talked about in the show, if you, it was Billie Jean King the one that said, when you connect with just one person, you've yeah. done enough. And that's it. Yeah. Each one saved one. Yeah. Well, all we, everyone wants to save the world. No, you can't. Mm -hmm. But if you could just connect with that one person and the ripple effect, my mama, May she rest in peace and rest in power. Um, oh, I'm, I think about her every day, Corey. Mm -hmm. And she had an enrichment teacher when she was in school. Mm -hmm. Her parents, my grandparents, had dropped out of school fifth, sixth grade, like many of yeah, our families talk about, because had to work. Yeah. And didn't have the skill set to, to teach her daughter how to go to college. Mm -hmm. And it was Wilma Schneg who kept in touch with my mother when she went to high school, helped her write an essay so she could get a scholarship to Howard University. She saved not only my mom, generations. Wow. Think about the children yeah. my mother had, the children that we have. Yeah. That if you connect with that one person like Wilma Schneg connected with my mama, how the ripple effect, and we have to just realize just the the, the power that we have and just reaching out, listening and connecting with one person. There was an episode where you talked about not being expected. So how did you navigate finding your purpose? Oh gosh, um, that's a really good question. Being patient, mm -hmm. being patient and persistent. And even though many did not expect me to be didn't mean that I didn't expect it. Yeah. Okay, can I say that? And I mean no, that, that, I'm not yeah. being all like, uh, yeah. I, I believed, yeah. I did, but I had to be patient and persistent with myself mm -hmm. and, and with others, not just myself, but yeah. being patient and persistent with others. I thought that was a, a nice theme uh, throughout the show, the late bloomers, it seemed. Yeah. Like there's another, a lot of women, like, you know, interviewing Debbie Allen, like, Woo! I feel like Debbie is just getting started. Or, e or either she's got a lot more to go. I would often get in trouble because I would speak my mind. And no one can put you in a box. I, and the way Sophia Carson was just like looking at Debbie Allen as she was speaking, and Debbie had just come off the set from somewhere. Yeah. You know, she didn't change her shoes. Mm -hmm. She just sat down and we started talking and it was just amazing. But our dreams, there's not a time limit. No. There's no, and there's no time limit and there's no time frame. And that's especially what I tell young people because they feel like if it hasn't happened at a certain point, um, it's not gonna happen, that's just not true. When did you bet on yourself? When have I not bet on myself? I've always, I've said this before, um, always grateful, never content. Mm, I mean, mm -hmm. I'm always grateful, but yeah. boy, I'm not content. No. I want more, I want more so I can do more. I don't yeah. want more so I can have more. I want more so I can do more. No, amen yeah. to that. Who did you connect with to become who you are today? I did. I did, and yeah. I don't, I'm not saying that to be kind of like that. Mm -hmm. When I made that spiritual connection, and what it did, it helped me connect with me. Yeah. That we're always looking to to get connected with others and and to get you know hooked up to be able someone to help us. Mm -hmm. um, you're always with yourself. Yeah. You're. All, and I just really connected within my inner self and it was through a spirituality that's, that's helped me in meditation. Okay, last question. Given everything that's going on in Hollywood right now, you really made it a point to make sure that not only in front of the camera, but behind the camera, there would be a lot of variety in people that work with you. Why was that important? Because we've been talking about it in this industry for quite some time. And we've gone through it with Hollywood, yeah. you know, with the Oscars and things like that. I can't report on it and point fingers and going, they're not doing yeah. this, they're not. And I have a production company and I'm not doing the same. Yeah. And so with all of our, um, pro all of our platforms that we work with, with Rock and Robin Productions mm -hmm. and you know, working with Spring Hill, LeBron James, he was the same way. Yeah. We wanted to make sure that it wasn't just a representation on camera, but behind the scenes yeah. as well. My showrunner, mm -hmm. uh, our showrunner, mm -hmm. young black woman, mm -hmm. um, the, the crew uh, was, again, it was um, just across the spectrum. Yeah. Um, and it was just very, and, and it helped inform what we did on, on screen. And that came through. Yeah, yeah, you know, because it's a collaboration. And so it's just being truthful. But I'm really very happy to LGBTQ 
community well represented uh, behind the scenes, uh, people of color, uh, just all across the spectrum. Robin, thank yeah. you so thank you. much. Thank you, enjoyed it. Oh my God. So if you haven't heard, if you haven't been listening, <laughs> remember Turning the Tables with Robin Roberts and it's only on Disney Plus. Thank you for tuning in.